Break it down. Jeep XRS here, ladies and gentlemen. Back for another Gleamer chest and spin the metal farming guide. Um, at the end of this, I'll show you exactly how much Gleamer I've accumulated and spin the metal from doing uh, just these five tutorials. This is the last Earth tutorial for right now because that's all we can actually go on in the beta. But this is the Skywatch area. I like to call it the end area because literally after you get here, it's like rinse and repeat back to the beginning kind of thing but yeah anyways enough of my mumbling again uh, when you come in when you as soon as you come in through this area here you're gonna want to just take a glance up here chest has a chance to spawn up there also spindle metal has a chance to spawn right here in the start you come over here spindle metal has a chance to spawn right here in this little region here where the uh, forklift is uh, you come in here uh, spindle metal has a chance to spawn in here anywhere literally in here Spin the metals has a chance to spawn there. Also, when you're coming through, uh, you're gonna want to jump over to this ledge area here. Chest has a chance to spawn here, opening from this angle, looking towards the building. Then you would just uh, kind of jump and uh, don't do what I just did there and kind of almost die. Yeah, uh, you continue through this side here. It's not as big area. It's kind of quick farming. Spin the metal has a chance to spawn on the back side of this. Uh, truck right here and uh, come up here spin the metal has a chance to spawn on the back side of this little rock right here you can't really see it from down there so you gotta sort of come up and kind of take a glance uh, spin the metal yep, straight ahead of us awesome it also has a chance to spawn on the opposite side right here and a chest will spawn sometimes right there or on the opposite side there uh, sorry we just heard my dog whining she uh, does that um, chest has a spawn to drop right here in the center only there never on this side always right here you kind of got a good glance on like where it actually is going to be now which is good because if you're doing your efficiency farming you, you want to want to know don't miss this little cubby hole here do your break up oh, perfect timing chest, and chest silver as they say when you when you grab spin the metal it will spawn a silver chest immediately somewhere around that area don't worry about going in the left, just come over here, just pass right by them. Uh, look in here for a chitter chest. And you'll come up, come up here, kind of boost your way through. Look right here, sometimes chests will spawn right there. I've had it happen a lot of times now. Come over here, go on the back side of this, treasure chest or spin the metal will spawn right here. Pretty good. Uh, spin the metal will spawn up, oh, yep, yeah, right here, right ahead of us. Perfect timing. Now we'll have to look for a silver chest. You come in here, right? Don't worry about that, that's a dead area. A spin the metal will spawn up there, at the top. A spin the metal will also spawn on top of here, right there. A spin the metal will also spawn on top of this here. Right? Spawn up top here. It's not really looked upon, people really on a pass it. Usually a silver one is up here. You can come through here. Uh, plus you know. A chest will sometimes spawn right there. And you would come through here. This would all be on your speeder, of course. You, know, you want the efficiency. Spin the metal. Oh, yep, yeah, perfect time. Grab that. Spin the metal before I die. Spin the metal will spawn there. Spin the metal will spawn also spawn right here. Spin the metal will also spawn over here. Jason up top. A chest or chest will spawn here, looking at this direction and this direction only. Then you would come here. Uh, chest has a chance to spawn actually right there underneath the staircase. Chest has a chance to spawn right here on the back side, right here. Also, a chest will spawn sometimes up here. Right up here. Right there. Uh, nowhere else on the top of the roof, so you don't have to like go on like, oh my god, she's up top, or oh my god, she's up there, oh no. No, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you'll come jump down here this way. Anyway, you pretty much just uh, you, you pretty much just jump up top and uh, just take a glance and gander and you know uh, spin the metal will actually spawn right there. Let's kill that guy. Yeah, uh, spin the metal will also spawn on the back side of these two containers right here, right there. But you can't see them from the other side, so yeah. Uh, let me see if I can get in here with this uh, beast, beast, beast killing. Me. Never mind. Um. Yeah, it's very hard to kite that particular one out because he does not like to move. But if you get the uh, Berserker type, 
Uh, you can literally just, like, walk in. And, uh, fucking bollocks that one up there. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. Leaving it in. I don't, uh, you know, necessarily edit my, uh, El Crapos. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get in there right now to show you guys where the treasure chest will actually spawn inside the room. I can get in there. Yep, okay. The treasure chest will spawn on the back side there and up top. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. Alright, so yeah, you guys sort of see the treasure chest where they spawn. Only two spots in there. Damn, he's really pissed at me. Okay, back along. But only I would recommend only going in there if the berserker type is in there, where you could just kite him out and jump on the back. Uh, treasure chest has a spawn and spin the metal right here. You come through here. Oh gosh, go in here. Oh, perfect. That means uh, that spin the metal we got earlier spawned in that one. Same thing, four corners, treasure chest. And then you would just, you know, rinse and repeat this way. And you see, as you're coming along the back stairs, you can sort of see the exact corner right there. If there was a cheddar chest there, or spin the mother over on the side. So you kind of just glance in, you go around the other side, you know, get your glances over. You sneak it through here, do a 360. This is the most efficient way I've found. You know, hit that throttle, do your 360s. You know, always put them 360s. Kind of come here. You don't have to like fully go up. You just uh, glance over. Nothing there. Okay, cool. You know, just go on your way. Kind of glance on the left side there. Remember, don't miss this little cubby hole here. Do your 360s. Not oh, perfect time. Please remember to use your brakes. And so much more bloody quicker. Like, hand down quick. Everybody always misses this hole. Nobody even actually really even knows it's there, it's kind of hidden. Uh, there seems to be nothing here. Oh, and the one more spot is the odd time right in the corner here when you're coming through this little building area. You'll see a chest there. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh. Nothing there today. Get out of my way. Get it on my way, Buster. Ah, screw it. Just jump. Just take this glance. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing on the side. Nothing down low. Oh, and a friend. Hurry up. Finish this. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to do two runs because this is going to get very, very loud in two seconds. Oh, perfect timing. The other chest. Yeah, so we're going to cut it at two runs, ladies and gentlemen. And that was bloody loud there. Uh, nothing inside there. Yep, so we'll end it where we started. Uh, let's check and see what we've got. So that's five little tutorial missions I've done. This is the last one. Uh, and this is how much we've accumulated over the time in loot. Uh, so that's all the white items. So that's, you know, that's not bad. Some good uh, resources. You know, that's not bad. I, I would say that that's a pretty good efficiency run uh, for, you know, it's a lot of white items. We got two banners. Uh, scratch that one. I only got one. Uh, 47 spindle metal. And uh, look at the gleamer. That's not bad. And all these videos took me roughly about an hour or so to put all, get them all done. So I started off in the, my wallet, I think it was like 122 gleamer or something like that. It was very low. But that's what we accumulated in that small little bit amount of time. Uh, if you would do it more like stick an area, you'll do, that gleamer will go through the roof. I, I would estimate um, at least within the 40 minutes of doing the going around in circles and killing those little kind of like yellow mini bosses if you wanted to do that on the side but other than that you know that's that's a good bit amount of money and that uh sorry go back through there uh, my mumbling the 40 spin the metal is a guaranteed i believe it's 200 or 250 gleamer so that's not bad so just you know tack that on to that as in like an extra little bonus plus the extra two there's 400 so you're looking at over seven you know like 
easy seven seven thousand so so that's not bad and that's you know doing the efficient route and uh we'll end it right there and uh i still believe i am the top 720 uh card uh the top here 720 you know of course i'm just gonna switch my emblem just for lulz uh let's go let's go this one there nice okay yeah and that is it and uh for future reference if anybody is trying to get the vanguard uh this type of here the marks don't don't try to get the rare speeder uh i tried um miserably failed i had 170 they cap it at that because it, every week you get a certain amount and uh yeah that was a balls uh, i tried um i really tried <laughs> but uh yeah that's the end of the video um like and subscribe break it down jeep xrs out ladies and gentlemen have a good one and uh, have a happy time farming the uh, nice gleamer. Peace.